Welcome back to Tropic Envy, folks. Today we are back at one of our customers' place, and we're going to be installing the Reef Mat 1200 uh, roller on the 200 gallon custom aquarium. So let's get on with opening the box and see what we have inside. Okay, now this is the main assembly of the Reef Mat roller 1200. So you pretty much lift the handle out here, bring it down gently. This is the main spindle on which you will be attaching your roller fleece and from here you will be feeding in into the retaining roller so to do that you got to make sure you just toggle these locks down horizontal and the spindle comes out there's a gap here where you will feed the roller fleece and we'll go through that shortly uh, down here below you have the unit through which the roller fleece will pass through and you just turn it 180 degrees and the whole assembly comes out. You remove the this component off. So this retainer unit you just it just snaps open one side. You have the notches out here so make sure you open it in the right direction. And the roller fleece is going to pass through from here all the way up and then you will put this back in all the way inside and just give it a few twists to lock it back in place right so that's pretty much to it and once you complete the installation you put the spindle back here lock it And then we go and install it so let's go ahead now and install all the components all right so we are going to now attach the roller we already done it on this spindle out here and we have put it through the groove out here on the other spindle we'll just give it a good play here and then keep rolling it till it takes the initial few inches of the roller mat just like that and then we'll connect it to this some assembly out here okay. here we have now seeded the reef mat roller floss through the two spindles through this assembly we are just going to put this back inside down and rotate it till it is connected and snug in place There you are. So now you have the assembly with the fresh roller filter filter mat from the spindle in the front. That's going to feed through the assembly down, and the used up one will get collected out here. We'll go ahead now and connect the rest of the components and put this roller mat in action. We're going to put this back to the main assembly. Make sure the other side is nice and locked. We also mounted the motor. Now this will be the main supply coming from the aquarium overflow. Uh, now for this setup we have to make some modifications because the main drain is one and a half inch and this is a one inch hose so these are the plumbing supplies that adapters that come that are along with the reef mat from red sea it's a one inch union so this part will get glued with the pvc glue provided into your spiral hose this union we are going to make some modifications of putting a one and a half inch coupling with a one inch reducer and a one inch PVC hose into the union out here. Just like this. We'll connect the union back here. And we will glue this to the one inch 
spiral hose provided with the reef mats. So pretty much we're going to feed the reef mat roller with some modifications in the plumbing. So let's go ahead and hook this up and get this running. So we are here we have placed the reef mat into the sump and we have connected a power supply. We are now going to be connecting the uh, intake from the aquarium overflow and feed it to the reef mat and kick start it. That's all we have folks for today. Uh, we finally wrap up this install of the reef mat roller at a customer's place. If you like such uh, educational videos and setup installations, uh, feel free to visit us at tropicandreefaquariums.com and like subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.